Hello, I'm Rob. This is all bullshit. Hi, I'm Jimmy and I am in the middle on ghosts, but my partner Sophie is a believer. Hi, I'm Sam and this is Total Bullshit. Hello everybody and welcome back to Seeking Answers and currently we are in Pluckley, allegedly the most haunted village in the entire UK. Pluckley Village resides in the south of England, within the Ashford district of Kent, a population of only a little over 1,000. The village dates back over 1,000 years, with the first written mention of it coming in 1086 within the Domesday Book. At the time, it was more of a significant settlement, whereas today it's a much larger town. During the 13th and 14th centuries, the village's parish church was built, dedicated to St Nicholas, which still stands today. In 1475, the Daring Chapel was then constructed, separated from the rest of the church by two screens, and can be found at the east end of the South Isle. The local LV farm dates back to 1496, containing stables and outbuildings. In the 19th century, Edward Brett was a farmer there, and one day he gave his wife 15 shillings, and each of his children a penny, before walking to the dairy and shooting himself, with seemingly no motive whatsoever. It was determined that his suicide was caused by him being temporarily insane. Edward's spirit has often been spotted around the farm and walking the corridors in the nearby hotel. One guest even claimed to have spotted him lying on a bed, as well as hearing a voice whispering in the area where he had taken his own life, while other guests claimed to have smelled burning wool or yarn, or possibly a farmer's hat. At some point around the 15th century, Serendon Manor was also built, which housed the Daring family. The Darings came to power during the reign of King Henry II, inheriting the building. Sir Edward Daring was born on January 28, 1598. Lady Daring was often spotted in the family library. In fact, at the start of the 20th century, Walter Winans was wandering the manor house with his rifle when he came face to face with her. Panicking, he quickly fired a shot, but it passed right through her before she disappeared into a panel wall, which led to a tunnel connecting the house to the church. It was here in this house where, around 1613, the Daring Manuscript was first discovered, which is the earliest text of any Shakespearean play, containing the single play versions of Henry IV Part 1 and 2. By the 1630s, the nave containing brasses which are now dedicated to the members of the Daring family were made by Sir Edward Daring himself. The family became lords of the manor during the 15th century, and remained as such all the way until the First World War. During the Civil War, Lord Daring was targeted by Cromwell's forces before escaping by diving headfirst through one of the round-topped windows of the manor. As the house was rebuilt, Daring then had every window in the building constructed the same way, and as tribute, the villagers did the exact same in their own homes. Unfortunately, in 1951, the house burned down, though you can still see the round windows throughout the other houses to this day. In 1989, Pluckley even made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the most haunted village in Britain, with 12 entirely separate paranormal entities being reported, leading to ghost hunters from across the country visiting it on a yearly basis, though this category is no longer used within the book. In 2008, a journalist from the Daily Telegraph visited the village and doubted that the stories actually had any weight behind them, as most of them lack any dates or specific names, and are most likely folklore. The aforementioned Lady Daring, or sometimes referred to as Red Lady or White Lady, died in the 12th century, and she has often been spotted in the churchyard where she was buried. Some have also claimed to have spotted a mysterious dancing light in the upper section of the windows, sometimes even being followed by a bizarre knocking sound, supposedly coming from the Daring family underneath the tomb. 
In the early 1970s, a group of psychic researchers managed to convince Reverend John Pittock to lock them all inside the church overnight to investigate. Equipped with video cameras, tape recorders and thermometers, as well as other equipment. When he returned to them the following morning, the group had experienced absolutely nothing. They actually complained about being bored the entire time unhappy with the lack of paranormal activity. They claimed that the only bit of excitement was the Reverend's dog popping by every now and then to greet them. The only problem was, he didn't have a dog. This led to others claiming to have witnessed a phantom dog in the area. So we just sat in front of the um, Dering family tomb. Edith, Lady Dering, has been sighted in this area. Um, as well as a spirits dog. Um, Edith, are you here with us? Your family were in charge here for hundreds of years. Do you have anything you want to say? Can you knock on the tomb? You've been known to make a knocking sound. Can you touch one of us? I'm going to try a device here that might help you communicate with us. The bullshit box rapidly scans radio frequencies to create a white noise and people think that spirits can use that for their voices to be heard. Daring! We got a daring. That was actually clear. Give me a first name. Me? Can you do it again? Can you say daring again? Say <laughs> Derek. It sounded like it. Go on, third time's the charm. One more. Give me one more Derek. You've done it twice, one more. Demon. Mills? There was a mill. There's been stories that a mill is um, haunted here. An old mill. Is the mill haunted? And this mill's lane. Dare Dare. Bitch. <laughs> you didn't like Edith. You hear that over there? Hmm? You guys not hear that over there? No. No. Well, I mean, just like someone was there, like stepped on a twig or something. Okay. Are you here? Is that you? Are you here? Henry? Can you hear me? We can! Where are you buried? Here. Daring? That was a pretty silly question. Is that the Daring family? You lose your balls once you die. <laughs> yes. I mean, that sounded like a female, so a bit weird. I mean, that sounded like a female, so a bit weird. No, I don't believe that you're seeing in this graveyard. I think you don't exist. You got behind. Edith Daring. Okay. 
You're a poo poo head. <laughs> you nearly had it. He just going. Go on, Jimmy. Fuck you. <laughs> you better keep this up for your solo, I bet. <laughs> oh, I'll try. You're going to be alone with him later. I would never be that disrespectful to you. Henry and Edith. They're both dickheads. They won't know what dickhead means. Uh, what was the insults back then? Thou art... <laughs> Edith? Thou art... Twat. <laughs> Are you not annoyed at us? He gads, you're so sad. <laughs> what even is this channel anymore? Fucking graveyard calling the air a twat. <laughs> Have I annoyed you? I We're not even getting words anymore. <laughs> <laughs> getting anything. <laughs> even if you're for fame, love. Further along from the church is a large white house known as Greystones, which is said to be haunted by a monk. He allegedly lived during the Tudor era and supposedly fell in love with the daughter of a neighbouring property, but she passed away from tragic circumstances. The story is that the monk would revisit places they would go together, walking through the same green fields and leafy lanes, falling into a deep depression following her passing, eventually dying from a broken heart. It's believed that he still walks this area, often wandering around the trees, though others have also placed him elsewhere in the neighbourhood. In 1989, an American journalist visited the area and claimed to have spotted a brown-robed figure drifting behind the house. The adjacent station road is the subject of many claims involving a man and a woman happily talking, with their dog yapping along with them. Their voices and these sounds will gradually get louder and louder, but nobody would be there. So Rob, I hypothesise that the scariest thing we found tonight is currently this road. Okay, it's... Get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> no pavements, dark country lane, middle of the night. Just down this road is a building known as Rose Court, which is around 250 years old, built by the Daring family, most likely in the Tudor era. This was the home of the aforementioned daughter who fell in love with the monk, supposedly caught in a love triangle, which led to her becoming so distressed that she drank a cocktail distilled from the juices of ivy and some other poisonous berries to commit suicide. It was claimed that when her body was discovered, it appeared as if she had been looking across the field to Greystones, where her lover had lived at the time. However, this story falls flat, as Greystones wasn't actually built until 1863, but it is possible that another house stood in its place previously. It's said that not only has she been spotted inside the home, but she can be heard calling for her dogs between 4 and 5 p.m., around the time of her death. There are reports inside this home of articles being moved around at night, or the sounds of bizarre groans and sighs in the early hours of the morning. The garden is also said to still emanate an incredibly eerie atmosphere to this day. Elsewhere in the village is the tiny Pinnock Bridge. At some point during the 20th century, an old gypsy lady lived in the area who would gather watercress and sell it to the other villagers to earn a living. She was well known locally, and though eccentric, she was considered to be completely harmless. Every sunset, she would sit on the walls of this very bridge, smoke her clay pipe, and drink her gin from a battered old flask. However, on one particular evening, tragedy struck when she actually fell asleep dropping the pipe onto her rags, which then erupted into flames. Nobody in the area heard her screams, and she burned to death. Many have claimed to have seen her tormented spirit revisit her last known place, some even claiming to have heard her screams of terror, while others have claimed to have seen her figure surrounded by flames, and others have said to have seen a faint pink glowing light hover in the area. Is there a lady here who may have set herself on fire in the early 1900s? Can you tell us your name?
Oh, it's Jimmy laughing, just for editing. So they're laughing about Jimmy, somebody died here. We just don't know the date, name, any any relevant details. Everything that took place on the bridge, which in itself has been brought into question. Your bridge is kind of shit. How is it Northampton can't be classed as a city, but this can be classed as a bridge? <laughs> I'm starting to think that Pluckley is old wives' tales, considering there's no genuine details of any of these stories. I don't think you existed. So I'm here talking to a bunch of leaves. I heard steps down there, but again, it's... Is anyone down there? I, okay, if that's not Rob, which I think it is, I can't see him. Oh, okay, so I heard steps down there, and I'm hearing it out. Yeah, I steps, and there's going on now. So again, I, I don't know what you can point at, but... Is that you walking? Okay, yeah. Footsteps down there. Unless you're playing a trick on me. Uh, trick on me. How am I? What, from here? Yeah, lo lots of footsteps down there. Is that you? Who is that? Can you walk again? Anybody here? I'm told that you like to walk a lot. Wanna do some walking now? Do you want to do anything at all? Yes, I understand the water stream. Anything else? Can you speak? Dunk. Heard the dunk. I'm convinced. <laughs> I never a few dunks actually. This whole investigation is a dunk. <laughs> well, I don't want to freak anyone out, but I just heard some wind. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> At the end of the Pinnock is what is known locally as Fright Corner due to the frequent paranormal activity. Many of the aforementioned spirits have been spotted here, as well as a phantom highwayman. The story goes that he was chased across fields by law enforcement, leading him to this very spot, where he seeked refuge against an oak tree. He was caught, and though he managed to put up a decent fight, he was eventually overpowered and fatally stabbed with several swords. There have been sightings of the highwayman recreating his final battle in the winter evenings, while others have claimed to have seen his lifeless body slumped forwards, pinned to a phantom tree with a sword coming out of his chest. So this is Fright Corner. Isn't it terrifying? Where an unnamed, in an unspecified time frame, highwayman was apparently murdered here and yeah it's just the middle of nowhere <laughs> legitimately the middle of nowhere People have reported seeing or hearing a phantom coach led by horses traveling through the village at night nearby are some woods known as daring wood or screaming wood which have been a strong focus of paranormal activity over the years many refuse to even enter the woods some have been tempted but were scared away by the sounds of screams coming from within. And it's said that this is the most active location in the entire village. On Halloween in 1948, several locals reported lights and sounds coming from within the woods. And the next morning, a dog walker actually found the bodies of 20 people lying in piles amongst the leaves. They were villagers from the nearby Maltman's Hill. But weirdly, there were no visible signs of wounds or struggle, and the autopsies failed to determine any of their causes of deaths. The authorities simply labelled them as carbon monoxide poisoning, just to close the case. 
in the late 1990s, four college students decided to go camping inside the woods, but they were never seen again. This is staring wood. This looks terrifying. I love it! Anyone here want to talk to us? Well, I don't want to freak anyone out, but I just saw an orb. Really? Oh my god, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really, but orbs aren't real. Scratch me. Hit, punch us, hit us, you're a prick. Speak <laughs> <laughs> for yourself, I don't want to punch me. Does anyone here want to talk to us? You can use this device in my hand to say your name. I believe about 20 of you were murdered a few decades ago. Let us know that you're here. Can you tell us your name? Can you breathe into this? Snap a branch. For editing, that is in fact Jimmy and Sophie and not the undead. Who are you? Demon? Hello! About time, what if you all bloody noise? If you're a demon, can you just rip out our hearts so we can go home? Are you here now? Can we get the subtitles of that, please? Yeah. What are the name? What's the name of the woods we're in? Is that Derek? No, Jimmy. I think it was. <laughs> I thought you said Derek is in the ghost. Derek. Oh, Derek. Derek. Did you die in these woods? Yeah. Hmm. What is your name? The, the researchers don't know your name, so can you tell us? <laughs> Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Are you French? French. French. What are you saying? You're not listening to oh. us. Bonjour. That's my GCSE French term. <laughs> oh, mo mange mad. That means eat shit. <laughs> Do you need help? Jimmy. I think we need to get down to the important questions. So was there any point in time when that piece of shit bridge of yours was actually a bridge? <laughs> I'm just interested to know what the story behind that is. Parlez-vous <laughs> anglais? If you say our names, you'll get into heaven. My name's Rob. Who are you? I just told you. You'll go into hell. That sounds like it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to hell. Going to hell. It's the white lady here. That's racist. That is very racist. <laughs> Not as much as <laughs> Especially because they're from centuries ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Get with the time. Not cool, Jimmy. <laughs> The blacksmith's forge team room was built in the 14th century, originally as a blacksmith's before becoming an alehouse. It's said to be haunted by the spirit of a cavalier, often being spotted by visitors in several rooms, as well as the ghost of a Tudor maid who calmly turns the fireplace spit and watches the guests. Gloria Atkins owned the building in the late 90s and 2000s and claimed to have heard hanging mugs suddenly clinking together as if someone was walking past running their finger along them. When she began working in the kitchen in November of 1997, she actually heard the front door open and then close, followed by the sound of a chair being moved away from a table. Assuming that a guest had just entered, she grabbed a notepad and went to take their order, but nobody was there, though the chair had in fact been moved away from the table. Fable blacksmiths. Now a happy family dwelling. Legend has it, ghosts haunt the rooms inside. Having stood here for about five seconds, I can confirm there's no movement. Case closed. Not far is Dick Buss's lane. 
At some point in the 1920s, some young children were on their way to school down this lane when they were horrified to have discovered their headmaster hanging from a tree. The reason for this suicide was never determined though some have claimed to have seen his ghostly body swinging back and forth in this area. Further into the village, it's what's known as the Bakery, which seemed to be just an ordinary building at first. However, once the property was renovated, an old Victorian fireplace was removed, which led to a barrage of inexplicable, paranormal occurrences throughout the building. Ghostly footsteps could be heard stamping across the upper rooms, but they would fall silent as soon as they reached where the fireplace stood. Residents would report feeling an icy chill in the air on even the hottest day. And in this particular area, the phantom coach and horses can be heard exceptionally loudly during the early hours, but never seen. In November 1997, a local claimed that her car filled with the distinct noise of horse hooves on a cobbled street as she drove home through the area while another woman claims to have been returning home after babysitting her granddaughter when the image of a coach pulled by horses passed by on the opposite side of the road with bright lights coming from the windows. So I think it's worth pointing out at this point that if there was a spectral horse and cart, there'd be a report about it because this road, for being in the middle of nowhere, is really fucking busy. For all those people in cars claiming to be driving along a dark country road, Seeing strange figures, strange lights. Here's the answer. Some dude walking along at night with a torch is not a crime. <laughs> it's also not a ghost. Further ev evidence towards the people of Plutney Village. No need to know what a bridge is. They've got no original names for their streets. No J. Simpson's been here. No J. Simpson's been here. So I think we've figured out why Plutney has so many ghosts. It's because all the people doing the ghost walk die before they reach the end. Fucking hell, I'm knackered. <laughs> Not far from the bakery resides the Black Horse Inn, said to be haunted by its own paranormal entity. In 1997, the manager of the pub was Laura Gambling, who claimed that her first ever Sunday lunchtime shift began as she was enjoying a cup of tea, before a glass on the shelf above the bar began to move ever so slightly on its own. It caught her attention, to which she watched it closely, and it continued to slide along the shelf before stopping at the very edge. Cutlery has been said to be lifted from the dresser and arranged neatly on the kitchen sides. There's a specific spot in the kitchen where dogs stop abruptly and bark at thin air, and there's even a room upstairs which dogs refuse to enter. Former miller Richard Dickey Buss is said to haunt a ruined windmill near the Pinnocks, often being spotted shortly before a storm. The mill was shut down by bus in the 1930s and was then destroyed by a fire in 39 when it was struck by lightning. But many believe that Dicky Bus never left. I am in fact alone now. If you wish to make any noise. That is Sam still laughing as he exits the area. You know, since I've started this channel, I feel like I've spent a lot of time just sitting in woods, talking to the air. And I actually would very much like to believe. I would love to believe. I would love for all of this to be real. A few years ago, I lost someone very close to me, so I understand it. I wish they were still here, and I wish they could hear me. So I have that need. I have that want to believe in the afterlife, but there's just nothing there. Can you please prove me wrong? Okay. What happened? Oh. And I can't get fuck's back sake. to not in the middle of the forest. Fuck's sake. <laughs> We're gonna say something serious. It is serious. That's no, not. It is. I'm not gonna venture further into the woods. And if anyone wants to make themselves known, please speak to me.
bunch of you were murdered on Halloween. Can any of you say your names? Say my name, my name's Rob. What name was given to these woods? What is the name of the woods that we are in? I've heard all this hype. Dogs won't come in here, people won't come in here because of screams. I'm not hearing shit. It's another disappointment. First the bridge. Now this. Fright corner was also a pile of shit. What a waste of fucking time. Do something! <coughs> Fuck off. Sam, on it. I see torches. I don't even know if they're like looking deep. I think they're coming back in. They're coming back in. They come in and see what that was. Why are you less scared than me? I don't get this. Excited. But what was that scream? I don't know, but we'll find out. Hopefully. Well, we probably won't find out, but... Well, we might find something out. <laughs> if that was... Was that you who screamed? Who was it who screamed? Make the noise again? You make a noise? So whoever's doing the solo next, I mean, this place lives up to its name. It's terrifying in there. I heard, I heard and saw some stuff. Absolutely bollocks. That was Sam. <laughs> I saw some, nah, it's actually really creepy in there. Did you not hear the scream? Yeah, yeah. Sam. Sam, wasn't it? No, I didn't do that. I thought it was you would be dicking around to be fair. No, I was freaking out. You guys out didn't do that? And he was laughing at me. No. Oh. Right. Don't play a trick on me because it's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice! <laughs> it's not. Right, it's your Jimmy Solo. I don't know where he was sat. What do you mean sat? You've got to walk round. Oh, I've got to walk round? Yeah, just not in the road and don't let them take you or possess you or anything. I thought we were just sat on our own. No. Oh, okay. That lot were embarrassing me because I was open to the idea that you exist. You are being laughed at. And I think the only thing you're known for is owl screams. You're not actually the screaming woods. Is anyone here? <laughs> That's literally what this place is. I now know why this is called the screaming woods. The owl. Oh, I'm going to go silent for about two minutes. The thing is, am I supposed to scare, care about every little crack in a you know this is a problem every little crack but there's animals in here there's all sorts in here there he is again hello owl hello mr owl hello screaming owl cracking next to me but this is the thing is it's just all cracks hello Okay, a shuffle in a tree, but probably an animal. This is the thing. Everything can be put down to an animal. Hi, right, animals. Start to do a little here. Oh, this place, is, it, it's fucking terrifying, actually, to be fair, but it's empty, really. I can see it being terrifying if you experienced like a 
shuffling or something, but it could be any animal, literally any animal, nocturnal animal. Did you die here? Are you spotted here? Do you walk around here? Come and talk to me. Is there? So I now know why this is called the Screaming Woods. Why? Because the owl keeps going constantly. <laughs> oh fucking owl! Oh you prick! <laughs> you fucking prick! But that's why it's called the Screaming Woods. Clearly, they clearly hear that every night. This is the only woods in the Arctic Kingdom where other animals are slaughtered. Is it? No. Look <laughs> 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 for the woods. Haunted village in the UK. I oh, don't get me wrong, it is incredibly creepy. Is it full of ghosts? Nah. I can't believe you guys thought Sam did the screen. He did. Yeah, he did. I don't think he did. I'm sure he did. So I heard it in there and it was coming further, like deeper into the woods. You'll find, as is often the case, ghost stories are precisely that, just stories. Always revolving around a creepy wood, creepy house, creepy bridge, nocturnal animal noises. If any spirits want to eat me, now's your chance. Now, I'm not entirely sure how big these woods are. It's very, very easy to get lost in, especially at night time. Anybody? My soul is ripe for the taking. I've not always been a good boy. I probably deserve whatever you can do to me. Ghosts aren't real. Doesn't matter how creepy the place is. Spirits, ghosts, it's not a thing. Think, when's the last time you heard any ghost stories about a Tyrannosaurus Rex? haunting Hyde Park. It just doesn't happen. It's always people with no names, in creepy looking places. Normally, they may or may not have had a little bit of a questionable backstory, a bit of a history, maybe even murders, maybe even grotesque murders. But ghosts, spirits? I don't think so. You're not nervous. Yeah. It's scary in that one. Man. Like, yeah. Genuinely, I heard a lot of stuff. Didn't. And I can't wait to get but to the footage. I'm hoping it picked it all up. No, that honestly, so much experience in there. It lived up to you its wouldn't name. Be sad, you wouldn't be saying, you wouldn't be... It lived up to... Like I'm you want me to be convinced, I'm telling you. No, you wouldn't. You'd the say, screaming wood. You'd immediately run up to Sam and go, I've experienced something. Like, you wouldn't just lie. What I'm going to do now is make a big, big ruckus. There are a couple of members of our group that are... A little bit scared of all things fake, i.e. the supernatural. So now I'm going to kick up a big first, so I'm going to run back towards my group. So I'm presuming... Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, lock the camera, lock the camera, fuck it! Fuck that! Such a wind up. This is now a game of find the fucking camera. It's a game of creepy noise at each other at the moment. I see a light. There's the camera. Let's start a new recording. What annoys me is I'll experience something and none of you will believe it. I told you I experienced something. So, I'm here on your bridge, but like Sam has said many times, it's unclear if this constitutes a bridge. Can you please? to anything resembling a point. This is all make-believe. I have wasted so many videos doing this shit and they don't even get views. These videos don't get views and I still do them. But why? I'm proving nothing. 
this has been a wasted trip. A wasted effort. Wasted time, wasted money, wasted journey. Just any sign that you're here. There's stories about you. They clearly don't hold any weight. This is just some bullshit. So you now have free reign. When no one's listening, do something. The most likely thing is that people will drive past and think we're ghosts because I look like a person in a black coat laying over. Is anyone there? Hello? Can you say something? Can you touch me? Can you speak? Can you make a noise? Jimmy seems a little spooked and I'm just making it worse. I've yet to see a time when Jimmy isn't spooked. <laughs> I saw him walk past the stickies earlier, like looking down between the bars. <laughs> sticks looking at me for I believe you didn't do anything. Have you noticed he'll say something bullshit then when we get there? He did it with Bigfoot. Piss his pants? Yeah, he yeah. was like, Big, Bigfoot's not real. Get to the forest. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone here? Was anyone walking by me? Do it now. There's a blink of a light, but I don't know if that meant anything. Yeah, yeah I got nothing on that bridge. Oh, like, I got so bored. <laughs> I got sounds of the stream. I'm no architect, okay? Could never claim to be an architect. But this is not a bridge, okay? This is a section of road about 100 meters long with a stream going through it, which is the average width of your average piss, okay? This bridge isn't bridging nothing. You could block this whole stream with a matchbox. Sam's probably putting me to shame now by pissing off the spirit. He's stealing my shtick. I don't fully understand how anybody can spontaneously set themselves on fire. I understand. I don't understand how they'd be able to do that on a, on a road. Did it happen? I doubt it. I've uh, literally got nothing to say on the matter. This bridge is not haunted. Not a great location. Nothing's happening. This village is shit. Your forest friends suck. You suck even more. Get a real bridge. Now you cynics might say dog, I say hellhound. Smooth. <laughs> Thanks. That was the sarcasm, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just round off? Round off this investigation by concluding that you're not here. You've never been here other than your bodies. Not being able to destroy energy is not the same thing as evidence of ghosts. Couple of things that could have been Edith. Sure. Yeah. Can you say spaghetti monster? You can. Go on then. 
Demon, demon. For a family called Daring, you're not very daring. Ha <laughs> ha, bars. Can the little dog ghost come and play? I love a little dog ghost. Do something. Say something. Oh, this is just random noise. I'm just going to leave you in your misery. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. It's Jimmy. Who's that? Henry? Look, Edith, I know I offended you, but do something for me. Talk to me. Henry, I'm sorry I offended your sister. Or your, whatever it was, whatever relation, I'm not. I'm ruining this. Help? Why? What's the matter? You're old? Well yeah, because that's why you died. Are you buried here? I can help you. Can I ask, what is this village called? I'm new here. It begins with P. You should know because you're buried here. What is this village called? Well, I heard something then, but was that Puckley? Pluckley? Am I speaking to Henry? Maybe. Yeah. Hi, hello, Henry. Did you say hello? What about Edith? She's still around. No, right. I'll speak to you one day in the afterlife. Spirits of Plutney, it was never my intention to disrespect you or your boring woods or your shitty bridge. I am genuinely in awe that you have a cemetery and you've actually named it correctly. I'm simply here to prove your existence and get stinky rich off of YouTube views. Please make yourself known if you are here. Yeah? Rumour has it you were a little bit of a slut in life, is that true? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm here, I'm available to you. Come and get it. Not going to, are you? Because ghosts still aren't real. Doesn't matter if it's in the woods, or a shitty misnamed bridge, or even in cemetery. There's nothing here. There's never going to be. Move on. Is there any truth to Pluckley Village? Are all of these sightings genuine cases of the most haunted village in the United Kingdom? Or are these merely folklore exaggerated over time? The tales of this village have been speculated and people continue to travel there every single year, frequently seeking answers. Hello guys, this is Rob from Seeking Answers. I really hope you enjoyed that episode. If you do want to see more, please consider donating to Patreon or clicking that join button below to become a channel member. Unfortunately, YouTube's monetization doesn't really cater to the content that we make, so we do need all the help that we can get. I also realize that not everyone is able to give a monthly payment, so there is now a PayPal link in the description if anyone does want to donate a one-off payment. Doesn't matter the amount, any amount is appreciated. And if you do a one-off payment, you'll be able to request a case for us to cover, and it will really go towards helping the channel out and continuing to grow the community. Any amount is appreciated and it will go towards keeping this channel alive and making more content, going on location more, you will get perks in exchange and you will help really give this channel the boost it needs. Thank you for all of your support and tune in next week for another video.